girl, Ejene. It's your boy, Smoke Rep and Bima, all day, every day. And welcome back to Rock the Mic with Smoke and Ejene. Oh, oh my goodness, it's been so awesome. We had a great birthday celebration in Jackson, Georgia. All right, strictly business, man. We had a great time, man. Yes. Appreciate all the love, all the different artists that came and showed support. You know, we had rappers, we had... Uh, open uh, open poetry. poetry, a whole um, bunch of yeah. oh, my goodness, rappers. they came out. We didn't have any singers. No, we ain't no, no singers. Nobody wants to sing anymore. Well, we had people from all <laughs> over the country. You know, people from Baltimore, Alabama, yes. uh, from Georgia. You know, right. we had people all over to come out and show support, show love for our birthday, man. Our we birthday did it was big. so nice. We did it it was packed in there too. It was a lot of people. Man, and that, that was great. And that fish, pole boy, or. Bo Boy. Bo Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that, that, that thing was banging. It right was. There. I think I had the shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp had the had fish. The fish yeah, Either yeah. way, it was both good. Yeah, the bread was wasn't too hard. It didn't break my teeth. I appreciate well, they, that. They had like some garlic type bread or something like that. Yeah, it was different, it was but good. it was really nice. But yeah, man, we so. want to definitely give a lot of love for everybody who show us love. Out there in Jackson, man, for real. That yeah, was a man. long drive, and you know, traffic was terrible. I really thought yeah, I was heading so back to Alabama. Like, I was like, I am two minutes from my mama's house. She stayed in Lennon, Alabama. Don't nobody know what that's at. That's how far we know who that is. <laughs> that's your fault. You don't know what that's <laughs> Check the map. Um, GPS it. Uh, yeah, it ain't on the map. It ain't on the map. It is on the map. It may not be on the old map, but it's definitely on a new map because, you right. know, they right. updated their technology. They're probably searching. It used to be that way. It used to be. Like, it used to be that way. <laughs> it used to be that way. <laughs> You're like, hold up. It just said five miles this way. Now I'm searching. Now, speaking of that. Make a U-turn. You're like, make a U-turn. <laughs> you come back and it doesn't matter. It used to do that. It doesn't do that anymore. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, anywho, thank you everybody for coming out to Jackson, Georgia to celebrate Walk the Mic with Smoke and E. Janae, their birthday celebration. For sure. And my cake person messed up yet again. See, that's why. <sighs> why can't we just get a cake? I, I just wanted an edible cake without a logo on it and people couldn't make that. Did you know I show up and the lady had happy birthday Smoke and E. Janae? I was like, that is not what I told y'all wow. I wanted. Wow. And she thought I was gonna pay for it. I was like, have a great day. Because <laughs> she almost got choked out. <laughs> I was like, I I this show is in like two hours and you done messed my cake up. Oh, you can be making. No, you cannot. That's why you said do it. Call you in 24 hours. That means I need an additional 24 hours for you to fix it. I don't have it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, who's up? Who's yeah. up? Who's up? It's all good. Anywho. So we got some great guests tonight, man. Yes, we do. Let them know who we got coming. We up. have Charismatic Princess. We have. Um, the Glamour Girls Glamour models, models, Billy and Dave Sly. They are going to be in the building. And um, we also going to talk about Franny and her designs. And she got this bomb jacket I saw. And I was like, I want one. I want one. I can't wait to get my pajamas. You know what I'm saying? You're know. you going to pass out. It's too yeah. hot. <laughs> I'm just it's too hot. It's about to be cold. It's he gonna pass out. He's going to be jump, jump. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to oh, pass out. Hey, y'all don't want me to jump. His feet is too big. Miss Franny, did you make some I, pajamas big enough for them? Look, hold those 19 and a half shoes up. Hey. Yeah, he got to cut the feet hey, out make of his. Make sure, <laughs> so make sure out. I don't show my man boobs when I be doing my jump. <laughs> I think we should go to break. Um, You've been tuning in to Rock the Mic with Smoking each night. For sure. We'll be we'll back. Be right back. <laughs> you got man boobs. Hello. Hi, this is Reese. We're here for Reese's birthday party. I'm ready to get a makeover too. Hi Reese, are you super excited? Yeah. Awesome, let's head back to the party area. Follow me. What tattoo are you getting today? Getting a rose. A rose. And how are you enjoying Reese's party? Really good. Yeah, what's your favorite part so far? The glitter. The glitter tattoo. Alright, thank you for your time, Rowan. What colors did you want? This one and what color did you send? Michael, Central, signing out. Hey, this is
is your boy Bad Boy Billy Sly. I'm at Glamour Girl Central. I'm in the shot. You know how I travel, and here I am, back at hometown Glamour Girl. So right now, I have Reese's parents right here, and we're gonna talk about Glamour Girls and the party that we got going on right now. So we're gonna talk to the parents and find out, hey, why are y'all here? We love Glamour Girls. And we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and we got it, folks. I guess my way to take over your dad, get yourself together. Bring you back over here, buddy. Well, why wouldn't we love Glamour Girls? I mean, it's hair, makeup, and everything fun for a young girl. She's absolutely, unequivocally <laughs> correct. We're going to try to bring dad back in there and see if we can get him to speak. Right now, he's all buttons, but we'll impress when it's even working. Here you go, dad. Looks like the girls are having the best time of their lives. Super cool. And we're out. Glamour Girls Central. See you later, baby. Peace. Hey, guys. Oh, we're out. Off the chopper with a light. Anyway, so welcome, girls. We're so happy to 
have you ladies back. back. How was Chicago? Good. It was a little cold. It was cold? Really? Was already? Already? Yes. Sheesh. What is it? September? It was cold? <laughs> Yes, it was a little cold, but it was good. It was good. Well, how was the commercial, the film, and the party? Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Hey, y'all did y'all thing. Y'all had fun at Glamour Girl? Yes. Oh, yes. uh, 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 she had fun at Glamour Girl. Yes, she did. Y'all did? I see y'all got that fly again. Right, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh. So did you do the challenge? Did you do the lip, lip sync challenge? Yes. Did that, was that fun? Yes. So did, was it like a sleepover? Like you guys, like was a whole bunch of you guys, and y'all slept over, then y'all just did the dance together? Like how was that? What did you do? Uh, well, we didn't do a sleepover, but <laughs> we all did go jump together. Mm -hmm. And then we also, at the end, we also did a little interview with Franny. Nice. <laughs> how was that? It was funny. Billy! You came in on an airplane. Where did you come from? From Georgia. Awesome. Well, welcome. And Dania, how are you liking it here in Chicago, Glam Girls? I love it. Awesome. So we've got our two protagonists out here. You guys actually started this production in Georgia. Is that right? Yes. Show. Dania, what show did you start it on? We started on Rock the Night. <gasps> awesome. And did you like doing the, the show on Rock the Night, Billy? Yes. Awesome. Now, I heard you guys have a signature move. What is your signature? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Man, y'all like some dumb mint twins. I know. Y'all know what dumb mint twins, man. Golly, well, y'all is coordinated. <laughs> That's cool. So, um, stand up. Let me see your whole little gear. Let me see. I know it's something on the back. Turn around. Let me see. What does it say on the back? Glamour Girl Central. Show the camera. Show the camera. Yeah. Look at that. That's so cute. And you got your little shoes to match it. Show me a little jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, oh, jump, jump. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Getting back here from Chicago, all jump, 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 and we murdered it. You hear it in the background right now. Everybody jamming this joint. Doing all kinds of cool things. Glamour girls, they're, they're rocking it on their uh, lip sync challenge. Uh, and they're challenging uh, Jimmy Fallon and their local police department in Chicago, Illinois area. Uh, we have Rock the Mic with uh, Smoke and E.J.N.A. And the joint's on there too. In September, it will be available everywhere. iTunes, Amazon, you name it. So this is your boy, Bad Boy Billy Sly, and I'm out. Peace. You feeling me? Uh, you feeling me? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's your boy Smoke, Reverend Bimo, all day, every day. And we are back. back. <laughs> Rock the mic with Smoke and E.J.N.A. For sure. And we have... Charismatic Princess! Princess. <laughs> OMG, it's so 
great to have you here tonight with us. So last time we saw you, you was killing the stage at your back to school party. She, she was rocking the mic. Oh yeah, she was rocking that <laughs> mic. Yes, she was. I mean, she had her little backup dancers and everything. How was? How did you enjoy your show? Um, I feel like I enjoyed it and it was really fun. It turned out to be a success. Yes, it was. And I had a lot of fun on the stage. It looked like yeah, yeah, yeah. nice outfit. I like the outfits. Yeah, the outfits was all chain. Y'all did y'all thing. I'm telling you. I really enjoyed myself. Hey, I was running around there like a kid at a, a fat kid at a <laughs> store. I was like, hey, everybody, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And then the, oh my God, with the picture that the photographer took with everybody, like, he was back oh, there oh, and yeah. everybody was like, that was the that hot. Was and then he turned us around. We was, I was like, that was just, that was real cool. It looked, it was just amazing. Like, all the kids that showed up to support you and mm -hmm. all of the artists that came to support you, that was love. And so that means you have a big heart. You out here in the street supporting other people because people not going to come unless you do win to them. Yeah. So that's just let us know you out here grinding. So. How long you been doing what yes. you did? Um, so at first I started out background dancing for one of my closest friends mm -hmm. and I've probably been dancing with her for like almost a year and then I started my own in November so probably about a year and a half. Nice. Yeah, and that's, I think I met you kind of at that mm -hmm. transitional place when you were going from background to actually doing your thing which was a great step for you because you're amazing. Thank you. You are amazing. So what's your inspiration? Um, to be honest, a lot of people inspire me. Um, I feel like, you know, they can do it and I can do it too. And I need to show off my talent too because uh, God didn't give me talent for a reason. That's right. awesome. The princess. That's awesome. The charismatic princess. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so your outfits, like, do you come up with your outfits or is there a, a, a designer? Is there a designer to do My mom is my designer. I hear you. <laughs> She's my designer. Um, she picks out she picks out my clothes because she can do it good and she yeah. pick out the best outfits. Well, so that's just, awesome because a lot of kids would not allow their parents to pick their stuff out. <laughs> well, your mom do an amazing job, so she does it for the background singers as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, Going there just just right. Yeah, it'd be yeah, hot yeah, though. Your yeah, mom is off the chain yeah, then. Yeah. Go um, mom. Right, go mom. <laughs> Power to the moms. To mom. Momagers. <laughs> With your mom being your momager, how hard or how easy is it for you? Um, it's hard and easy at the same time, cause like there's still stuff that you know we're figuring out along the way, stuff like that. But um, most of the time it's kind of easy sometimes, cause like we can just like you know do this and do that and stuff like that. So. And, and then I see you on Instagram dancing all the time. All the so. time. So. All the time. <laughs> I love to dance. I don't know. I don't know. I just like to dance and I gotta show it off. And then she puts on a caption, oh, I messed up part two. Where did she mess up at? <laughs> No, that's my friend. They be messing up, so I gotta put part two in part one. Oh, 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 she was being nice. Oh, I, I got it now. I got it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the like, like, scoops like, and information. Like, learn this first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then go to number two after you learn number one. Because if you jump into number two and right. you ain't learn number one, you, you off. You, you <laughs> right, that's all the way off. That's awesome. Perfect. That's awesome. So how did you come up with your name, Charismatic Princess? So, it's a long story, but I'm going to sum it up. So, okay. we were going to make my Instagram account, and it was me, my auntie, and my mom. And so we were trying to figure out names that I should make for my Instagram. Right. And out of the blue, my auntie was like charismatic. And it was like, what does that mean? So when we looked it up, it was like, wow, oh my gosh, that would be a perfect name because it fits me. And ever since that day, we just stuck with charismatic. Well, where princess come from? Princess, I just added princess because I'm a princess. Ah! <laughs> well, what was the definition of charismatic? Um, charismatic is a compelling charm, inspiring devotion in others. You better speak, mm -hmm. mommy. Well, okay, she knew that all the time. She, she know herself. She that's it. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, we're talking about your name, Charismatic Princess. You are a Charismatic Princess. princess. <laughs> so we want to see what Charismatic Princess has and to show then, us. We want to see that. We better get to it right yeah. after this. Right back at you, man. Right the Michael Smokey is your name.
think outside the box Cause my mind has claustrophobia Give me 50 feet, that's what I need Cause you don't know me, bro I'm elevating, no communicating Ain't got no time for no hate hate I'm moving, making so dedicated It's my show, no invitation I'm official, I go hard, yep Every time I spit them bars, yep You from Earth and I'm from Mars Charismatic, go bizarre I be super shit popping Yeah, you already know When the flyers just come out I'm the first to go I, I don't care about no hater Yet it's down for my flow You gon' hear my next single in your iTunes store Yeah About the murders, the deaths, the funerals, the long funeral. Lord, the funeral did right they bury her yet? No, they ain't bury I'm gonna need them to bury Aretha <laughs> ASAP. Like, she has memes asking people from heaven, bury me, please. Like, and y'all put the lady in the ground. Man. 15 people done died and she's still having funerals. Why is we just let the lady go, please? How long I mean, was the funeral be? Like, really? I mean, it seems like this is going on all month. <laughs> Wait, right. They wait until Virgo season is over. Virgo, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like she's been buried, not buried. She's had more funerals than I can count. Like it's ridiculous. People are falling asleep in the church during the funeral. They had every famous singer come and sing some national hymn. That's 40 hours long. <laughs> like, can y'all just put this lady in the ground, please? Have her they, funeral they with a picture gave, or something. Yeah, gave her more funerals than I had birthdays. <laughs> That's a lot, you know, because you're kind of old. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody knows she's older than me. Whatever, you're older than me. <laughs> Speaking of old, um, this young man didn't make it to be our age, which is a tragic. Uh, Mac, Mac Miller. Miller? Yeah, yeah, that, that was kind of tragic. Like, a suicide is what they're claiming it was. He did an overdose with drugs and all that stuff. That's not a suicide. That's an overdose. Yeah, same difference. Um, <laughs> but I, I just don't understand. Like, and I guess because I haven't been in this position. Um, but if you know of family members that are doing drugs and having problems, no matter how rich and famous you may think they are, they need help. Okay, and stop allowing people to just go on and live their lives that's not living if you have to wake up and go to sleep with drugs like that's not the way to live waking up and sleeping with drugs like it's just it's not the way of life like so have you ever had a family member that you knew was on different drugs that you did or didn't take that step to help them no actually no not no really. hmm, i had only family members I had on that level were things that they went through because of the wars and stuff from back in the day that they went through. Right. So they was kind of like messed up in the head. But it wasn't more so drugs. It was more so alcohol or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I did have family members that was messed up from the wars and stuff like right. that from the things that they seen. But me personally, if I was around anybody that's close to me, I'll try to help you. But if you don't help yourself... You can't help nobody who don't have that self. But then that's just the thing. He did, if, I, I know we say that um, you don't want to help yourself, but you say that for, on two different levels. Like one part, one mind, like, okay, what if he didn't have the mind to help himself because he was so far gone? When you as a family member or a close friend know when that person has completely lost their mind to you step in now like look you're gonna do this and that's bad or whatever whatever no matter how much they fight it when yeah. when do you di differentiate between that me personally i think that as long as y'all have an open relationship and you communicate and being around that person then you're able to find out and know what's going on if you're not around them then you don't know how deep or how serious that the situation is so you got to be around to really know what's going on. But what if they've been pushing people away? Because that's what a lot of people with alcoholism, drugism, they push people away because of their habit. And then people as family or friends like, I'm tired of this. They're not going to do this. And they just got to hit rock bottom. Well, for rock bottom for this guy was death. There's no coming back from death. 
So what is rock bottom before death and how, as and people, how do we help? If you help, if you try your best to help them and continue to help them, one thing I learned, if it's, nothing that you, if it's something that you need to do or fix and you cannot do it physically, it's nothing you can do. You done tried every avenue, everything possible. You done made your phone calls. You done popped up through that alcohol, that drugs away, whatever, and they still want to go in there. The only thing you do is pray to God. Because you, obviously, you physically being there and you physically doing things for them that they see that you're doing those things and they don't feel as though that it's helping them, then the only thing you can do is go the spiritual route. I get it. So, what do you think could have helped Mac Miller? Miller? I don't know the full details of it, but in that situation of what I do know, he was a good guy. And all these different rappers and everything like that saying that he's a good guy, then they see the things that he was doing. Then they should have been there for him. They, can't, they shouldn't be there. It's like one of them sayings of don't show the appreciation to the person that you mm -hmm. love. You know, once they're gone, right. show the appreciation and love now. Yeah. Show them now why you can appreciate them Absolutely. and show them that you appreciate them. Why wait to then? So if y'all, if people think that he's a good guy and he's such a cool and he has a great soul and he he's he's a great artist, and they should have been around to support. If you know people in your family or whoever's close to you that do have these issues, please try to get them help and. Be there for Keep them. God in, in the tour too. Right. God is going to be there to help more than anything. So you've been watching Rock the Mic with Smoke and Ejene. Hopefully the jazz man don't fall apart. And we'll see you guys on our next show. Thanks for tuning in. Nice show. <laughs> see y'all next week. Jump, jump, jump. 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 Jump, 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 jump,